This also meant that the Hermetic philosophy returned to Europe. It returned to the Moors and through the uh, Crusades and through the increasing contacts between the Near East and European scholarship. It came back to Europe or reached Europe in a blaze of glory. It became uh, one of the great fashions and fads of the time and Hermes grew in stature to such extent that he eclipsed even Aristotle for a while and that was a considerable problem in eclipsing. Actually, however, in the interval, in its slow meanderings uh, from Egypt via Arabia and into Spain and from Spain up through southern Europe into the great centers of European culture in the medieval period, in this period of wandering, uh, the Hermetic philosophy began to change its shape, ch change its uh, presentation. Much of its so-called broadness was lost. The original books of Hermes uh, came to be regarded as merely the outer surface of a larger literature, and the entire subject gradually uh, emphasized its scientific import and became practically synonymous with medicine. Thus we have a complete literature dealing with the medical arts and, of course, one of the prime elements in medicine, chemistry. Chemistry, of course, in those days was without boundaries such as we know now. Chemistry in China, in India, Arabia, was alchemy. And alchemy was a fantastic conglomeration of ancient beliefs and modern experimentation. The alchemists were not by any means a group of quacks, nor were they an assembly of madmen. They were devout persons, serious scholars, deep thinkers. And in their thinking and in their speculations, Hermes became their patron saint. And this ancient philosophical personality ultimately dissolved to become the symbolic figure of mercury, quicksilver, a chemical element. So in his long journeys, Hermes passed from a demigod of Egypt to a medieval element. Now that was quite a trip. And in the course of this traveling, another interesting thing occurred. During the 15th and early 16th century, a brand new literature accredited to Hermes appeared. For this literature there is no history whatever. We know beyond reason or doubt that this literature arose from original sources, perhaps not earlier than 1400 AD and as late as 1500. But the name of Hermes began to appear on the titles, pages, and among the emblemata of alchemy. He became accredited with the preparation of uh, chemical formulas, means of transmuting metals. He was even accredited with the discovery of gunpowder. Now this is so totally different uh, from the corpus hermeticum of ancient times that we must pause. Yet we must also remember the words uh, of Clement of Alexandria in the Stromata where he tells us that in this procession of priests there were some who carried the symbols of medicine, chemistry, and other arts. Upon perhaps this very slender foundation, Hermes was elevated to become the patron genius of uh, medieval Hermeticism.